this is the craziest sunset ever. Do these hats make us look like tourists? <laughs> Our Christmas road trip has officially begun, woo! For the next 15 days, we are gonna be traveling from Seattle down to Texas and back. We have a ton of fun stops along the way. Here's a quick little list of where we're going. So today we're headed to Southern Oregon where we're gonna stay the night in a rest stop in our car. Uh, sleeping in the car is kind of our thing. It's a really good option if you don't plan on being somewhere very long and you don't wanna spend money on a hotel or Airbnb or set up a campsite because sometimes that takes some time too. So our car's really, really packed so we're crossing our fingers that we actually have enough room to sleep in it. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna to head to Carmel, California. And then Sunday we're gonna to go to Joshua Tree and then Monday we'll make it to Texas. And we're kind of rushing on the way to Texas because. Of Christmas and we're trying to get there in time but on the way home we'll have a lot more time to slow down a bit go to more national parks um, eat a lot of tacos and then um, we'll make it home I think around January 4th or 5th if I remember correctly so we're really 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 excited and we're super pumped to have you guys along for the ride <music> First pit stop of the Christmas road trip 2018 is at Matt's Barbecue in Portland. To say that I'm drooling is a bit of an understatement. We have a pound and a half of brisket here with tortillas, beans, chips and queso. I got a smoked jalapeno here. Um, this, this is torture right now. <laughs> I'm hungry. We have all kinds of sauces here that we're going to try out too. I'm excited. It's going to be good. Uh, solid a plus all right pro tip get the chip dip it in the queso put the brisket on top maybe a little salsa if you're feeling crazy oh my goodness Nini brisket <gasps> oh so my even Kona gets to enjoy some of the barbecue. <laughs> In queso. <laughs> All right, this is our home for the night. We got our sleeping pads, our sleeping bags, our blow up pillows. We were able to fit everything in the front so that way we could lay in the back. Should be a pretty good maybe five hours of sleep. Be nice and cozy. <laughs> we got Noni here to keep us warm. Oh yeah, Kona's gonna love to cuddle, mm -hmm. right Kona? <sighs> good morning, we are officially in Cali. Woo! Cali, Cali, we made it. We're in a town called Eureka. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I like saying it. Um, we just stopped for some gas and to go to the bathroom. We've been on the road for a little over two hours now. Um, we got maybe four hours of sleep. We left at 4 a.m. from the um, rest stop. The rest stop was really nice. Um, the bathrooms were super clean, super big and spacious, at least the women's one. It was the nicest rest stop I've ever been to. I, I think so, yeah. It was very well lit, which made it hard to sleep at times, but we felt yeah. pretty safe. There were a lot of other people stopped there too. It was just a huge rest stop. Um, we'll link to, the, to it in the description below in case you find yourself needing a rest stop yeah. in Southern Oregon. Highly recommend. <laughs> so we're gonna keep driving. We have about six and a half hours left until we get to our first stop. Um, we're really hoping the sun comes out soon, or the light at least, because. Yeah, we've been driving, you know, since like two o'clock yesterday and uh, we drove a lot like after we ate dinner and then we've been driving over two hours tonight So it feels like most of the trip has been in the dark and we're missing out on some views Yeah, <laughs> like it's getting we can tell there's like lots of mountains on the side and stuff going up and up Yeah, so. we're getting up in elevation here between like Oregon and California So we can tell it's a really pretty drive right now and we just want to be able to see it <laughs> yeah. So we still have a little over an hour till Until the sun yeah. comes up and uh, But yeah, we're in Cali hopefully catch some of that Cali sunshine Woo! <laughs> Hey, 
Fifty eight, please. One in California. We got four patties on this one. And three patties on this one, two things of fries, and a milkshake. Because go big or go home, right? Four patties. Do these hats make us look like tourists? <laughs> We're the only ones wearing them here, but they're so fun. I mean, we've been in and out twice before, once in Texas. I've been to it once in California, and this is by far my favorite experience. Before, I was kind of like, meh, it's okay. The fries still aren't that great, in my opinion, but my burger was good. I don't know about yours. The burger was great. Yeah, we get them protein style, so we skip the bun, but the and then we get some fries so we can enjoy those. We got extra meat, lots of cheese. The fries are a little weird, but uh, the burger's great. But yeah. like, really, is any fry a bad fry? I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, no, it's definitely not bad, that's for sure. <laughs> the milkshake's good. The, yeah. the melted cheese on the burger was... Ooh, top notch. So, I mean, it's the only time we're going to come here on the trip. We just saw it. When in California, we might as well just do it. Exactly. Um, no regrets. No I regrets. loved it. I'm loving it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're making a quick stop in Monterey to grab some coffee and walk around. They have this awesome little pathway that goes along the water. There's a marina, so there's a bunch of boats. We can hear some seals kind of barking right now, which is fun. Reminds me of San Francisco. Um, we came here like two summers ago on our way to Yosemite, and the weather was so foggy that day. Monterey was actually the only spot on our entire day on the coast where you could actually see anything. So it's fun to be back. Um, the weather looks really great today. So we're going to keep heading down the coast and go play at the beach. Um, Kona's been cooped up in the car all day, so she's definitely ready to go run around, eat some waves, um, and we're ready to just kind of sit down for a bit and relax after driving for about eight hours, I think, to get here. So in Monterey, there's a spot called Old Fisherman's Wharf, which kind of like um, one of the piers, the main pier in San Francisco. It's pretty touristy, but it's really cool to walk on. There is a hidden gem though that you should know about called Water and Leaves. It's a coffee shop and it's a really high quality coffee shop. They have these huge like tubs of honey on the wall. I guess they make their own honey. Um, they have a really cool way of steeping tea. Um, so highly recommend checking it out. And it's on the water and it has this awesome view of all the boats. Obvious, we absolutely loved that sunset. It was probably the like, most colorful sunset we've ever seen. Definitely one of our favorites of all time. It looked like highlighters exploded everywhere. Um, now we're camping at Marina Dunes RV Park, which is in Monterey, California, or just a little bit north of Monterey, I think. So it's actually an RV park, but they have these like really cute cottages you can rent. They also have like maybe four or five different tent sites, which are very like out in the open, no privacy. They're pretty basic, but I mean, it's really nice. No one else is camping, so we kind of have the whole little strip to ourselves. We have a fire pit, 
which is awesome. They also have really nice bathrooms and showers, um, which you're definitely gonna take advantage of because we're pretty gross. Um, so we're camping tonight. So we're kind of like going from roughing it to like nice accommodations. So last night we slept in the car. Tonight we're camping. Tomorrow we're staying in this like cabin thing. And then we're gonna start staying at Airbnbs for pretty much the rest of the trip. So we're gonna hang out by the fire, maybe watch some YouTube, and then go to bed because we have a pretty early morning, not as early as yes, or as not as early as today was. Um, but we're gonna hit up a spot that we couldn't go to last time we were on the California coast because it was closed. It's like a bucket list item for me. And then we're gonna make our way to Joshua Tree. Um, we're super, super pumped. Uh, there's been a government shutdown, but we don't think that Joshua Tree will be affected. So we're crossing our fingers. We can still get in and see what we plan to see there. Good morning, day three of the road trip. Woo! The sunrises and sunsets are just ridiculous here. We are loving it. <laughs> I don't think I want to leave California. <laughs> Everything's just been Never so thought beautiful. I'd say that. <laughs> yeah, we thought since we were driving along the West Coast that we wouldn't see an awesome sunrise. And then it's just beautiful. And then there it is. Yep. Um, oh, I, I just, I'm so happy. I have no words. Speechless, I'm speechless. Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> We tried to come to this park last time we were at Big Sur, but the road was closed because of a landslide. Uh, it was closed for months, and so it finally reopened, and we are super excited to come here today, and it looks like it's closed again. So we're not sure why, because we looked up um, like the waterfall we were trying to go view a couple days ago, and we didn't see anything about it being closed. So we don't have cell phone service, so we're just gonna kinda lurk around and see if we can maybe find a safe spot to view it from, just from the road. I'm sad. I guess third time will be the charm. I don't know. I'm kind of losing hope that I'll ever get to see it. So we parked alongside of the highway and we're just kind of walking along the highway and we can kind of see part of the view. We're not sure if we're going to get to see the actual view we came here to see, but what we can see right now is beautiful. So if this is all I get, I will be happier. I'm still sad, but I'll be happier. <laughs> okay, I lied. I'm super happy. This is exactly the view I wanted. Um, it's beautiful. So we. In full disclosure, we went over the railing of the highway, but there are no signs saying you can't do that. There's a ton of open space, so we think it's okay, but we're not condoning any bad behavior. Um, but we don't do anything that doesn't feel safe, and the view's incredible, so I'm very, very happy. After a beautiful morning in Big Sur, we are headed to Joshua Tree National Park. Woo! We're gonna check off another off our long list of national parks. Woo! I think this will be number 11 for us. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. Um, the visitor center won't be open, so we won't get to buy our patch, which we collect patches at national Ooh. parks. But I think we can buy one online, so that's okay. <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> yep, so we're saddled up. We've got a little over five hours to go, and what does it say, 336 miles. Uh, we're going through Los Angeles though. Um, that's the route uh -oh. it's taking us and we all know how that's supposed to go. Yeah, so, so we'll see if this time is <laughs> going accurate. Up. Uh, maybe we'll find a quicker route. We, we kind of want to see like the famous Los Angeles traffic, but we want to see it from like Way a different there. road. <laughs> Just be like looking onto it. We don't want to actually so be on it. we're not in that. <laughs> so yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Yep. So we're saddled up. We got coffee. We got chicharrones. My uh, one of my favorite road snacks. They Kona. smell, they smell so bad. They don't taste bad, they just smell bad. Yeah, Kona discovered a new new snack she likes too, so she's she's on my team on that one. <laughs> so yeah, we're ready to go. We'll be yeah. there. Hopefully soon. before sunset. <laughs> yep. We made it to Joshua Tree. Woo, our 11th national park. Right. Uh, and in typical California fashion, beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset per the use. <laughs> <laughs> so we have probably like maybe 15 more minutes till the sun goes down and yeah. then we're gonna make some dinner in our car and then we're mm. gonna stick around and hopefully get some cool night shots. Gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh my 
gosh. Another what? one. <laughs> Another one. This is nuts. We like didn't think the sunset would actually be that great because it was super cloudy. Yeah. But holy crap. This is beautiful. Another magnificent one. <laughs> we made it to Arizona, but kind of barely because we're like the first exit once you cross the California Arizona state line. So we're not sure if that really counts. We still have the whole state ahead of us. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> so yeah, we're here in Arizona. We're staying at this RV park called Arizona Oasis. And we're staying in this little cabin. I'll give you the quick little tour here. And we've got these bunk beds right here. I called that top bunk there. So <laughs> that one's got my name on it. Yep. We're, so we're, we're trying to have some mattresses to actually sleep on yeah, tonight instead yeah. of the ground. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have our sleeping pads, but mattresses will be much, much nicer. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna hit the hay here in a second. Um, and then we'll get up in about, what, four or five hours? <laughs> and and then get on the road at four, because we've got a long way to go. Yeah, we're going to Texas tomorrow. So we have all of Arizona, all of New Mexico, and then part of Texas to hit. Mm -hmm. um, so this actually marks the end of road trip vlog number one. So thank you for tuning in. We have many more coming your way. Um, but yeah, that's it for number one. Good night.